the part true of the seven deadly sins movie the 3d one uh has got a trailer and i want you to go over it just because there's one interesting part of it if there wasn't for, if it wasn't for that part dropping i would not even i would pretend this didn't even come out uh the first part of the movie if you don't know by the way this movie quote unquote is two parts that dropped in separate dates it's like <laughs> It's like they they think this is a series or something, but it's supposed to be a movie. Anyways, there's one cool thing about this, and I only bring it up because I hope that in the near future, or eh, I'm too hopeful to say near, in the future, somehow, they come back and bring more movie characters. If we have this thing in the game, okay? This thing! Which, honestly, when he came out, it wasn't like, oh, Bellion. It was like, oh, Bellion from the movie. Oh, wow. And then we had Elat. Elat? Why did I say it like that? We have Elat. And not only she's in the game, she got a separate banner at a later date. So that leads me to believe that they have, like, the rights for this movie to use whenever they want. Why can't they do that for the other movies? Because there was another movie that was pretty cool, actually. Not this one. The <laughs> not this one in two parts. There was another movie that was actually pretty cool. I would have liked to seeing the characters from that. I can't actually play the trailer. They're going to copyright me. I have to keep skipping. Uh, but in this movie, right? Like, they, they have so much... They, they have this <laughs> Demon Death Pierce. Which, honestly, I wouldn't mind getting as a character. Demon Death Pierce. That's pretty sick. Right? The movie looks pretty goofy, because the animation is pretty bad. But, you know, we, we've been beaten down and accustomed to a bad animation, right? And uh, Tristan here goes full-on sickle mode in the second part. So spoilers, I mean, it's, it's on the trailer. If, if they deem that it's supposed to be on the trailer, I guess I, I can spoil that for you. I haven't watched it yet, so I want to skip all this. Tristan here, mid-battle, I guess, goes on and is like, oh, by the way, I have I have a demon mode, right? And it looks pretty sick. Like, look at that. Look at that frame. Look at this. That is, that, that is a unit begging to be made. Now, obviously, the current Tristan that we have in the game is an unknown character, but that just means, right... That what they could do is if they're gonna release Tristan as an unknown, they could have multiple versions of Tristan for, you know, the demon version, right? Is just Tristan, I don't know, quote in, in parenthesis, demon form or whatever. And then on his passive, just like uh, Sagma, it says, <laughs> there's a bit of a lot I called him that, Sigurd, it says that he counts as a demon, right? Super simple, they could easily do that. And man, movie characters, I, I hate that, you know, I see other games, right? Other games know what they're doing. Because One Piece Treasure Cruise, uh, minor spoiler for One Piece, I guess. I, I, I'm not there yet, so it's not even a spoiler. They announced that the next episode, the new, the new Luffy power-up, uh, I'm not gonna go in detail, I guess is, you know, being animated. And so, One Piece Treasure Cruise is dropping that form on the same day! It's like, the hypest shit ever, right? And they're dropping in the game on the same day! That's so insanely hype! But... <laughs> now Marvel is like, Ooh, there's movies? Really? They've made movies out of Seven Deadly Sins? Holy shit! Is it the one with Bellion? <laughs> Crazy. Um, but yeah, when they dropped the 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 movie with Melian Zeldris and the like the uh, fairy guy, that should have been it. Like they they should have dropped it in the game same day. But you know what can I say? If they're gonna drop movies, I prefer they drop that one first and then they go in and move on to Tristan. But missed opportunity because. I need to keep clicking. This is sick. Uh, watch just a little bit more of the trailer. Actually really sick. I don't know what happens in the second part that he fights. Um, 
Bond's kid, I forgot his name for a second here, but you know, Bond's kid, I mean, I'm assuming, you know, when they start releasing the Knights of the Apocalypse, then we're going to be getting him anyways, and probably on the 16-year-old version of him. If you don't know, Knights of the, if you haven't started reading Knights of the Apocalypse because you're watching, waiting for the anime, you know, these are not uh, the forms that they take in the anime. Like, this is like a kid version, and Tristan is much older as well. All of the characters are 16. I think that's, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a thing, but they're, they're all 16. Maybe four times four. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. All the Knights of the Apocalypse are 16. Uh, so this is not how they actually look like in the story. This is much, much earlier. So, you know, it would be sick to get this form before we even get the Knights of the Apocalypse form because I assume we're still getting it this year? Uh, the anime comes out this year still, I believe, unless they changed that and I didn't see it. If the anime still comes out this year and we get the actual main character of Knights of the Apocalypse, not Tristan, that would be nice, but it would also be pretty cool to get one of these uh, movies or characters from movies beforehand. So let me know what you think. Am I, are we ever going to be getting these movie forms? Probably not. I don't think they know the movies exist. The three devs are working hard enough to make Ragnarok characters for us.